today is supposed to be just a test video, but if it happens to be long enough, I'm gonna upload it. Testing some camera settings, some more, some GoPro 9 settings. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna be. I don't know how many times it's gonna be driving this. Because it is still pretty hot out here. It's probably still 100 degrees. But the camera settings I'm testing is 4K, 2K, 30 FPS, and 60 slash super wide and uh, wide. But once again, it's not going to be super long, still hot. This bike can still get too hot in this weather. This bike isn't even fully charged. But the first test we're doing is 4K 30fps super wide view. Now I've already finally figured out some settings for color. Uh, or not color, but um, quality settings. I already found out the settings I like. You fix these mirrors. Uh, I already fixed that up, but now I'm just really testing what do I like considered as um, FPS. Do I want smoothness over quality? So that's 4K 30. Because I want this to be super wide view. I'm going to test wide view, but I want this to be super wide view. So do I want 4K 30 FPS, higher quality, slower FPS, or 2K 60 FPS? Lower quality, but smoother, smoother video. I'm not going to take this to the main road, because once again, I'm not, even, not only am I not even fully charged, but it's still too warm for that. It takes a while for this bike to really get that hot. It's not just gonna get that hot, but it can. It'll still. It's definitely gonna get there. And I don't know. Maybe it is that it can't get that hot that fast. But I'm not trying to risk it. My GoPro should have some battery though. I could have swore I charged it. I guess, I think I've already tested it out in my 4th of July video. But I could try again to see if you can hear me as I'm speeding. It's a little breezy out here. So the wind picks up. So this will be a test if you can hear me. And can you hear me good while driving in these conditions? So now finally can I talk and drive. And I have to worry about saying something every time I stop. Know why that person took so long but it does feel good to be outside again it does feel good to drive my bike summer just started well not quite but it's been hot for a month or two starting may getting even hotter in june and now at its hottest in july since july is the hottest month for vegas so I have been out, we haven't really been outside much besides 4th of July and some small occasions of getting some food with my parents. Besides that, I haven't been outside and it feels good to be outside. But I don't think it's going to be dark enough. I can always just see. But if it is, it does get, get dark enough. Which I doubt I'm going to be out here long enough for it to get dark. I can test uh, my nighttime settings. Road. Another camera shaky test. It's gonna be extra shaky since my mask is flopping around. Decently heavy GoPro 9 on my mask, so that was a shake test right there. Now the mask is on my nose, it's kind of annoying. I forgot I unloosened the mask because I should be wearing it, but uh, <laughs> I haven't figured out how to use, how to tighten up my helmet. Yeah, that may sound goofy as hell. The longest. The way, they, the way the thing was set up, it looked like you were supposed to pull some shit to make something tighter. You know how fucking motorcycle helmets work. I got a German style joint, so it's kind of like a only really on head helmet. I don't really have something to protect my face besides this mask. Um, so it's one of those, and the way the trap design was, it wasn't the easiest for me to learn, apparently. I don't know if I'm just stupid or what, but it is what it is. I finally figured it out. 
72 volts. All right, let me fix up this mask because it is all on my nose. I feel like my breathing is weird. All right, there we go. I need to tighten this bitch, but I don't know if I can do it. It's on my head right now. All right, uh, there's a way I can check time. This uh, test recording is going to be a little longer than I thought it was. So, shit, I'm on to upload it, honestly. I should have changed the settings when I stopped in the neighborhood. I didn't want each setting or part to be this long. <laughs> I didn't really think about it. But uh, I'm just trying to see what all like here. Shit, maybe if any guys feel like commenting, because I'm probably gonna upload this. This is gonna be long, a long video. But uh, maybe if you guys feel like commenting, you let me know which setting you guys like. Right now, this is 4K 30 FPS. Next, I'm gonna try 4K 60 FPS. This is 4K 30 FPS Super View. Next, I'm gonna try 4K 60 FPS Wide. Why is it not super view in 60? Because GoPro 9 cannot do 60 FPS 4K in super view. Only wide. I was much when you're this way, so I wonder if you guys hear me right now as I talk. If you can, can you hear me and understand what I'm saying? If you can, that's actually very nice. I'm not gonna do any high speeds, like I said earlier. Not only because I'll be low on battery, I don't want this thing to get too hot. I'm enjoying the warm cruising winds. It's definitely a little darker out here, so I wonder how the morning is setting handle or how does it look in these uh, slightly darker daylight. Pretty much wondering when will I start having to use the nighttime setting. Okay, so this is now 60 FPS, which is limiting me to wide view, like I've said already. This time I'm gonna make this test a little shorter. I'm not gonna leave the. I'm not gonna. I'm once I get to the end of the neighborhood, I'm gonna sit on the sidewalk and change the setting because uh, this video is already gonna be decently long. Um, I don't wanna make this even longer than it sh needs to be, but as you can already see, um, I'm being limited. Views limited. So the last time I did this, you couldn't see my handlebars and everything. Like I wanted to see. I forgot my phone, but you couldn't see my handlebars. You can only see what's in front of me, which is cool. But I really want you to see like the handlebars and what's in front of me like I did last time. Or like I always have it set up the same way as my GoPro 5. I would love for you to have that view. If you don't have that view, to me it just doesn't look as good. Like I, would, like I love the view I have when it's mounted to my chest. The only thing I like about having it on my mounted on my face better is, um, you can see where I'm seeing, you can see what I'm looking So if I see some crazy shit, you can see it. But here we are, 60 FPS. You all let me know how y'all feel about this. How y'all feel about the smoothness over the crop. Ah, I'm a little scared of this bike's temps. I'm thinking about getting some hub sync shit if I can. If I can get it, I'm thinking about getting it. Because if there's moments like this, I just need to go somewhere and I want to take my bike. If I have to go a little far and I don't want to waste gas, since I do drive a gas guzzler, a 5,500 pound vehicle, um, I can just take this. But if I have to go within about 16 miles, which is like seven miles there, seven miles back, which is only actually 14 miles, but somewhere within that range or eight miles there and eight miles back, I can do it because the battery can do it but I can't do it at the same time because the motor wants to get too hot. So I'm really thinking about that state of raid stuff. I don't really need to take both gloves off. All right, so next test is gonna be 2K 60. But we're on the morning setting and I think it's starting to get a little too dark for the morning setting. So the next and the final test will be the nighttime setting and I'll just set it to 4K 30 FPS, super wide view. 
but I can finally do a proper test on the nighttime setting. I haven't felt my motor yet. I should have felt it. You know what? Uh, I don't know if there's anywhere I can stop because here it's too fucked up. Now we're not gonna stop right here. Uh, maybe like right here. I'm trying to see what's still on. Eee, slow down, bitch. Okay, hopefully there's no fucking gigantic ants getting ready to crawl up my leg. Uh, damn, short-term memory. I almost forgot what I was about to do already. I'm trying to. How hot's my motor? Still touchable. Still touchable. See, this will not overheat within like five minutes. It takes a while. It's like this motor. These motors don't get rid of the heat fast enough. So what happens is the heat gets higher and higher and higher and higher the more and more you drive. And I think that's why the first time this bike, um, to tell you guys what I'm talking about, but I haven't already said this, this bike has cut off on me twice. The first time I was accelerating really hard constantly. Fuck you. Uh, 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 I hate these lights so much. But no, seriously, um, the bike cut off on me twice. The first time I was accelerating constantly hard at like gear five and I was at like 16 miles and um, this dude in the Corvette seemed like he was just texting my bike <laughs> kept accelerating up a little bit so I would too you know, just fucking around at least that's what I think because I noticed uh, the first time he accelerated off wasn't just a bit fast but I accelerated harder and I was in front of him mind you he was of course side to side in lanes and the second time he went to accelerate even harder so I'm like, oh, okay, he must be, he must be testing the, this bike's capabilities just a little bit. Obviously, it's a car. You're gonna dust the shit out of me. Any car will probably dust the shit out of this once they get to the top accelerate, uh, top speed. But you know, just fucking around. But the second time he accelerated harder, and I almost tried to accelerate harder. I was already low on battery, like about as low as I am now. And then um, when I went to accelerate, my bike just stopped. Like I can feel the push. This shit just stopped. I could feel that I wasn't actually throttling anymore. And then, um, next you know, I have, luckily I was like literally right outside of my neighborhood. I had to walk the thing back because uh, it, it completely turned off. And when I finally figured out how to turn it back on, I just plugged it back up to the charger, put some power back in it. I went on the Bluetooth app and it said my motor was at 130C which that is the temperature the motor will cut off at. And then um, the second time was actually after a video. This time it was about a little cooler than it is right now, just barely. Then I, uh, driving normal, driving good, but I took this thing to the park and that's where I fucked up. I took it to the park and then, um, in my park is, you know, any park with a lot of grass. Even in this desert, there's a lot of thick grass. And I took it to the park twice, during the video and then after the video. And that was just I was making this thing want to use too much torque. I had a feeling I was getting this thing too hot. I was also low on battery. So I was still accelerating hard because I was trying to hurry up and get home. And nope, the bike cut off for me about 1.3 miles away from my house. And I had to walk it back. But my goofy ass didn't think to just call my parents. Be like, hey, uh, you guys pick me up real quick? Because my keys, I didn't have them on me, they were just in my room. My parents could have got the keys and picked me up and we could have tried to put the bike in the back of the truck. But I thought it would be too difficult to do so, so I just walked it back. I guess it was a good exercise. <laughs> but yeah, so it takes this thing a minute, but this shit will get too hot and cut off. Just luckily, I don't think it's that fast. It's definitely dark now. It's definitely probably way too dark for the nighttime, but way too dark for the morning setting. This is the morning setting we're on. So, like I said, I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna do the nighttime setting, which is the setting I've been waiting to do for a long time now because I wasn't really doing anything to truly go outside and test it. All right, so because it isn't that dark, I could probably continue to use my morning setting, to be honest, but it is dark enough for you to see the difference between my nighttime setting and how much brighter it is. I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna be out here long enough, but if I am, uh, and it gets darker, maybe you can really see. 
God damn. That motor is feeling pretty hot. I don't know if it's gonna be safe to leave my neighborhood at this point. Actually, I wanna address something real quick. It's funny. Um, I got a couple of comments on the video I did with my mom's Mototech 2000 watt five fat tire bike. And somebody was talking about, damn, the scooter, or forget the scooter. You know, look at the neighborhood. This neighborhood is not as great as you think. You must not live in the West Coast. The West Coast is very hidden with this stuff. You see that right there? See that white spot? Neighbor's truck got shot almost a week ago. About four o'clock in the morning. A lot of California people will move in here, so that doesn't help. North Las Vegas, which is where I'm located, is the worst side of Vegas. Uh, where the most crime, crime happens. Now, I'm not saying this is fucking Chicago. Most certainly not. <laughs> it's not Chicago. But, um, it's not as great as you think. I personally fucking hate this neighborhood. And I hate the house we live in. It is so small, cluttered, fucking trash, uh, amenities, or how, what do you say to shit? You fucking ovens and stove and all that shit. I forgot you say that word. Shit. Everything's shit, bug infested since we've moved in for at least a couple of years now. I can't remember how much years exactly, but we got a guy to spray so we can keep the fucking bugs out. But godly, this place has made me see bugs I've never seen in my fucking life. Like um, hummingbird moths. I've never heard of that shit. It's literally moths the size of hummingbirds or almost the size of hummingbirds. I forgot how small or big they are, how small or big hummingbirds are. But those moths are big enough where you can see their eyes just fine. Um, yeah, fucking camel spiders, weird tin leg looking spiders, disgusting, I personally fucking hate spiders, seen a couple of black walls uh, around here during summer, that is terrifying, because <laughs> if you don't know, uh, from my knowledge, I think black walls are a lot more aggressive than your regular yellow jackets, I think they call them blue jay? Because they kind of have a blue tint to them. I'm not 100% sure. But they're a lot more aggressive than your regular wasp or hornets. I forgot which one. I think the hornet is the one with the shorter, like the longer butt but shorter body. And the wasp is the one with the shorter butt but the long skinny body. I think that's the wasp. The one with the skinny, weird skinny long body but the short butt. Um... <laughs> Because those yellow jackets, um, they're already aggressive. The black ones are even more aggressive. So, got that. And, and it's just nasty. And the amount of fucking roaches we had around here. The neighbors said they served some salt and scorpions. I'm surprised I didn't see any scorpions. Sorry if I sickened it a little late. But I'm surprised we haven't seen any scorpions ourselves in this house. This neighborhood is not as great as we thought, think it would be. Once again... Uh, like my dad, I'll tell you back in the day in New York, because that's where he, my parents are from. I'm from New York as well, but I got moved out on six. I really didn't truly grow up in New York. That's probably why I don't sound like a New Yorker, but the hell was that? <laughs> but that's why I don't, probably don't sound like a New Yorker. I think they opened the garage and then they noticed the dude was gone. But, um... My dad would tell you back in New York when uh, you know all the hip hop scene and when West Coast people started talking and they saw West Coast through the neighborhood, they had palm trees, uh, better looking houses, dishwashers. New York, you ain't have no dishwashers, you gotta buy one. They got all this shit and they thought West Coast dudes was pussy trying to act hardcore, but really, not not really. It's just West Coast is just different. That's it. If anything, they're modern, so all the new equipment, which like a dishwasher, which is that new, um. They got it, we don't, because East Coast is so old. All right, am I recording? Almost forgot that fast. Okay, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, which is gonna be the second time I say this. The last test, the last night video test was indeed in hyper boost mode. This time, I keep saying that wrong. The hyper smooth was on boost. This time hyper smooth is on, it's just on. Because the thing is with Boost, if you don't know, Boost makes it as smooth as possible from shakes and rattles and shit like that. But it crops your video even more. And now I'm in super wide view for both. But with Hyper Boost on, oh, I'm trying to see, do I really need Boost? Because the cropping on the video is not allowing you to see as much. Because once again, I want you to be able to see my handlebars. I want you to be able to see what's in front of me too. And that's what the one problem I'm having with doing 4K60. With 4K60, I can't do super view. Which a lot doesn't allow y'all to see all that. Because a lot of times, I want y'all to see how fast I'm going. 
and I forgot to bring my phone with me but if I had my phone um, I want you guys to see how fast we're going how much miles I'm doing because I always like to put that display up when I'm driving but last test once again we're not going up the neighborhood this motor is starting to become almost untouchable that's how hot it's becoming which means uh, any too hard acceleration or whatnot for uh, a long amount of time will have this bike cut off so I might just do it once on this next turn just to give y'all some speed oh no that's this that's this i'm like don't feel no rattle somewhere that was never there that's because my phone's on here so this is rattling but uh this is hyper smooth just on no boost fuck it let's give y'all some speed just how this is when we're going fast and it just cut off the bike just cut off <laughs> and that's why i didn't leave the neighborhood all uh, right yeah i really need to stop doing that anyways i can't keep torturing my bike like this it's just going to be damage to the motor at this point so now i gotta pedal cart it back let's get on the sidewalk i don't even think i did did i even do 10 miles luckily we're just right here but oh shit, I might as well end it right here. This has been the test. I want a slight hill too, so it's not as hard pushing it. But uh, this has been the test. Hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, wait, scrum. What the fuck? If I can speak English, y'all. Go ahead. Don't feel shy. And click that subscribe and like button if you feel you want to. Check out the links in the description if you're a fan of music and gaming. Hip hop music, boom bap, trap beats at, at that. And then, uh, oh, it's getting a little harder. Right, right uh, a, a bit of an uphill now. I need to pump these tires too. Should me some intro again. I'm fucking up. It's me and Boy Molly. If y'all enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Don't feel shy. And, uh, check out the description. DJ Molly Mall. It's my music channel. And Menace. That's the gaming channel. And that's really it. Yeah. If you want, stay tuned. And I'm out. Peace.